Hi everybody, welcome back. Today I thought we would go over making another thumbnail. I made a video about a week ago on just the basics of this Canva program. The Canva program is free. This is what I use to make my thumbnails. It's free and there are so many different things you can do with it. So in my description, I'm going to leave a link to the Canva program. You can use my link. I'm not sponsored by them and I don't get paid. There are credits that I get or points or something i'm not really sure how they work on the link i'll get a credit or a point which goes toward using a picture if you want google canva you can do that when you do oh, click on the link or google canva and click on the canva link they're going to ask you to sign in you need to register and sign in you can do that through your google it's all free it's all free you just need to register because when you do register They'll save the designs that you've made, and you can go back and work on them if you want. But what we're going to do today, we're going to work on the thumbnail. So you want to click on social media, and that'll bring up this page right here. You can work on a Facebook post, your Facebook cover. You could work on any, make any project you want to. You could change your YouTube channel art right here. But what we're going to do is right here, we're going to work on a thumbnail so you want to click on that and when you do this page will open up and what you see in front of you is a blank canvas you can click on this canvas and it'll it'll highlight you could change the colors and do whatever you know whatever you want to what i want to do first i want to upload a, a picture so i'm going to click on upload because i know i want to put a picture on this this is a thumbnail for robin i did a review on this ice cream so I have a few pictures in, in a folder here that I took out of, out of my edit. So we're going to decide which picture to use. Probably not that one because Rob's nose looks, his nose looks a little pinched there. I may have been pinching his nose. You know, so I pulled a couple pictures out of the edit. I'm going to use that one. So we're going to upload that media. That's what I want to do. I want to get that picture into this program. You can see these are pictures I've already used down here. So you're going to upload media. I want to upload from my device. You can upload a picture from anywhere here. But I want to go from my device. To find the folder, you go to desktop. And then you look through your, your folders wherever you saved it. Mine's in reviewing ice cream. And I think it was snapshot number one we wanted to use. So we're going to open that up and it'll download and put it right over here. So here's the picture that I want to use. So all you have to do is click on that picture and it will put it right there for you. That is not the picture that I want to use. Let's, let's go back and get the right picture. What in the world? That, it's that. Nope. It's that one. Okay. Let's, let's get the right picture. Poor Rob. Look at his nose. All right. So that's not the picture I want to use. So we're going to click on that picture. And up here in this top corner is a garbage can. We're going to delete that. Because that is not, that's not the picture that I want. Poor Rob. Just poor Rob. All right. Here's the correct picture. So we're going to click on the picture. And there, it put it right there. Now, I want to, I want to shrink this down a little bit. So we're just going to pull, pull in the sides. We're going to pull in the side. There. That looks good to me. Now we're going to just kind of move this out of the way. We're going to use this picture. I might shrink it down a little more. But I want to change this background. It's white. I want it to be something different. So what we can do, we could change it a different color. By clicking up here, you could change it a color. Or, let me show you this. This is an ice cream review, so wouldn't it be fun to maybe have some ice cream background? We'll see what they have. We're going to go over here to the far left and click on photos. And what this brings up is photos that the program already has. We're going to we're going to search up here for ice cream and see what they let's see what they have to offer. Most of these are going to be free. Oh look, they have a lot of ice cream. Now, if you see the little crown next to it, that's the pro version. We can't use that. That's the paid version. We're looking for the free ones. Here's a free ice cream. There's a free ice cream. Let's see what else they have. So you just scroll down through 
and just you can look look for the one you want to use when you find one that you want to use here this one is free and this is looks like an ice cream counter Let's, we're just going to click on that and when we do it'll put it right over here that that might be fun to use we're going to drag that back down into the corner now i want this to be full screen but i want our picture to be over top of it so what i'm going to do we click on the picture and then go up to position up here in this corner click on position and I want the picture to be in front of the ice cream. So I'm going to click forward there. It put the picture right in front of us. And I also want the ice cream to be full screen. So we're going to just move the ice cream so it's full screen. There you see it. That's how I got the picture on top. The ice cream is the picture in the background and you move your your picture that you want forward also what we could do in here i want to adjust my picture brightness maybe so we're going to adjust this the kind of doll i, I want to brighten it up a little bit so i on the blur i'm going to take it over just just a little bit see how it brightens us up when i move that blur over or if i take it the other way it makes us totally blurry so let's put it back toward the middle and maybe just take it a little to the left just to brighten us up just a hair bit not not too much let's leave it there let's see what else we could do to make this picture just a little brighter so all you have to do is go play with it I mean, I could make it all totally black and white here if I wanted to so let's, let's go play with it just a little bit to brighten brighten it up just a hair bit Okay, that looks good. Oop, not that way. Ooh, see? So you could just play with it however you want. Let's put that back toward the middle. Let's see what this does. And there. We'll leave that in the middle. All right, there we go. There's Rob and I. If I even wanted to, I could make Rob and I the full screen by just taking our picture and dragging it. So we could be the full screen. Probably if I would do that, I would take down this, soften it up a little bit. Maybe, maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll uh, leave Rob and I. You know what? I think we're going to do that. So let's <laughs> shrink this back down because this is awfully busy looking to me. So let's shrink this down. Click on this back picture. Okay, go up here and hit this little delete garbage can. Yep, took it right out of there. Over here, I mean, you could search for anything, anything you want. Goats, I searched for goats. And you just scroll down here, find a cute picture of a goat you want to use. And stick it in your, in your thumbnail. We'll click on that just to look at it. Look how cute that is. <laughs> so, of course, I don't want that in my thumbnail. So we're going to we're going to delete that right out of there. But over here, you could any anything you want, any picture you want, you could use. Just type in up here. They have chickens and cows and cattle and anything you anything anything you want. Just search over here. Put it in your thumbnail. It's all free. We're going to make this our background. That's what we're going to Now I need to add some text to this. So let's go over here, click on the text. Now last time I did this, we, we added just a plain heading. We're not gonna do that this time. We're gonna scroll down because they have these other fonts that we can use that are free to use. Let's do, let's do this glow. Click on the glow and it puts glow over here. Now of course I don't want the word glow. Highlight the glow. And then here's where we're, we're going to write something. This is unedited. And of course it's big. All right. It's huge. So we're going to go up here to the size. And we can shrink it right down. Let's try 96 there. 
unedited. Let's make it a little bit bigger. We could also change the color of this. We can move it where we need it. Let's put it right up here. Unedited. Let's change the color of it. Let's change it to black and see what happens. So you could change it any color you wanted. There's white. And right here, if you see where it says photo colors, when I put the photo in there, it automatically read what colors would go best with this. That looks pretty good. So see it pulled this, this out of the bag of ice cream sandwich over here. Let's click on that. Unedited. I kind of like, well, that one's kind of nice, but you want to get one that stands out. That's, all, that's way too bright. Now, you don't ever want to put words in this, this corner down here. You want to stay away from this corner because YouTube automatically puts things about your video in that corner and your words will get lost. So we're going to put the unedited right up there. Let's see if we can add something else. Maybe we'll add regular text now. So we'll add a heading and put ice cream review. Freeze dried. It's freeze dried ice cream. So freeze dried ice cream. That's kind of big. Let's, I'm going to click right, right in front of the word ice. I'm going to hit enter. There it made it. It made it two lines here. You could scroll it and make it bigger or highlight it all and go up here and make it bigger. Make it about 88 and look how big that got. It says freeze dried. See how big that is? Let's change that to black. See what happens if we change it to black. Oh, it gets lost. You want to find a color that stands out. Now see how far apart right here. See the space? That's an awfully wide space. I don't want that much of a wide space. So I'm going to go up here, right up here, and I'm going to click right here on spacing, line height. Now watch what happens when I move this to the right or to the left. And to the right. Now see what I'm going to put it right about here. Watch what I can do. See the letter? Watch what I do when I, when I drag it to the right or to the left. See how it just makes it close together and then farther apart? You can, if you have text that you can't read because it's all squished together, you can kind of move it out a little bit so it's easier for people to read. We're gonna, I'm going to leave that right about there. And that is too big. I'm going to shrink it down. Maybe turn it a little bit. Maybe up to the corner. Freeze dried ice cream, unedited. Maybe I should put the word review under the unedited. So I'm going to click next to this D over here at the, at the end of the word. And I'm going to hit enter. And then I'm going to put the word review. There. So there you go. That's how to add the photos. If you want to add an extra photo for a background, you can do it here. And all you have to do is drag it across your screen. And then extra text. You can add the heading or go down through here and search a different type of font that you would want. Well, I hope this helped you a little bit. And when you, well, when you want to, when you know this is like the thumbnail you want to use, go over here and click download. Don't change any of the settings. Hit download. It'll go into your download folder and then that's where you could pick it up and use it on your, put it in your YouTube thumbnail. All right, well, I hope this helped a little bit. 
I'll make more videos on, on all the other different things you can do, but it's really easy. This is pretty much a drag and drop program. I will see you in my next video. Subscribe, come back for more, and I will see you next time. Bye.